Hey everybody, Steve here, Adventure Outdoors, and today, on an absolute whim, I picked up an Eno Skyloft hammock. It's a bridge type hammock, and I got it for a good deal. Couldn't resist it, so I got it. Let's set this thing up. I don't know if you've ever seen this or have any interest, but this will be my first time, so let's do it. Both ends of this hammock come with these connected um, bars. They are connected to the hammock. All you gotta do is snap them together and they are on both ends, which is a really cool little feature. You don't have to worry about losing them. So both ends come with the spreader bars attached and they also come with the cordage and a carabiner. I'm going to use my Eno Atlas straps to hang this thing. has integrated little net pockets one on each side that's a nice little feature the weight restriction is 250 pounds so that means you cannot make too many trips to the golden corral buffet before i even lay in this hammock i'm thinking it might be a great hammock to kick back and enjoy some afternoon cat videos this is the head end where you see these toggles attached to some cordage and I believe you can pull these tighter and it will actually raise your head in into more of a reclining style. Super simple connection there to the hammock strap with just a carabiner. There is reinforced stitching in several places and it looks really good. This is an extremely flat fly. Very, very flat. Very comfortable too. All right, now I've pulled those straps up at the head end all the way that they'll go to uh, check out, see how this thing feels in a more reclined position. It really feels good and there's absolutely no shoulder squeeze at all, which is excellent. They say the stuff sack can act as a pillow, so I guess you could stuff it full of your filthy socks. And uh, there are button attachments that will go around these little end loops on the stuff sack to hold it in place. So pretty cool little feature. Use the stuff sack as a pillow. All right, now keep in mind that this is just a first impression. This is not a review. I haven't used this thing out in the wild. I hadn't camped in it. But my first impression, I gotta give it a thumbs up. 
I think it's pretty sweet actually. I don't know as far as cold weather camping, how to, how, or if I could set it up for that, but spring, summer, maybe early fall, this may be an excellent choice if you're looking for a very flat lie. And of course, you would need a ridge line and a, uh, a lightweight bug net over it. You know, the usual stuff. All you hammock experts know about all that stuff. But as far as first impression, I kind of dig it, all right? I hope this has been helpful, all right? I will see you in the next video.